Today's lesson 10.5, Exponents and Scientific Notation. So in this lesson, what we want to be able to do is take a number that is in scientific notation and write it in standard form. So a number is written in scientific notation when it is represented as the product of a factor and a power of 10. The factor must be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So in this case right here, this 8.3 is the factor. And it is greater than 1 but less than 10. And if you look at the front of your note-taking packet, you can see that I summarized and put c times 10 to the n. So this is kind of like the basic notation for scientific notation because this c is this decimal factor that we're talking about. And so basically the rules for this is that um, c is greater than or equal to 1 and c is less than 10. There are two things, so it's going to be a decimal number. N, right here, this is an integer exponent. And this is really going to be the clue to tell us whether or not we're dealing with a large number or a small number. So let's just take a look at the example that's given in your textbook. We want to tell whether the number is written in scientific notation. So the decimal part of the number, the C, is 5.9. It is greater than 1 less than 10, so it definitely satisfies that condition, and our exponent is an integer. So we would say, yes, it is written in scientific notation. Look at B. The decimal part of it is less than 1. Since the factor is less than 1, the number is not written in scientific notation. So you're going to have to be able to tell me if it's in scientific notation or not. Um, on your own, first example, is 12 times 10 to the fourth written in scientific notation and explain. So we look at the two parts. The decimal number right here, 12. It has to be greater than 1 but less than 10. Since 12 is greater than 10, it is not in scientific notation. 12 um, is greater than 10, so it is not in scientific notation. Okay, um, looking at the exponent, 4, it is an integer, so that part of it does require, you know, fit the requirement, but the 12 does not, so it's not in scientific notation. Um, I will allow that if it is in scientific notation, you probably don't have to give as much of an explanation. If it's a yes, then you're understanding these requirements. But when it is not, please specify the reason that it is not. Okay, so for us to write a number in standard form, writing it in standard form is like, what is the value of that number using place value? So the absolute value of the exponent indicates how many places to move the decimal point. So the, the exponent is the one that's telling us the number of places. If the exponent is negative, we have a very small number, so we want to move the decimal point to the left so that we can fill in some zeros and write a small decimal number. If the exponent is positive, we move the decimal point to the right, and that'll give us a large number. So in your book, writing it in standard form, 3.22 times 10 to the negative 4, since this is a small number, we will start with the decimal right here between the 3 and the 2, and we'll move four places to the left and fill in the zeros. Since 5 is a, telling us it's a large number, we want to move the number to the right so that we can get 790,000. So let's give a few of these a try. In this case, 7 is positive, so that's telling us it's a large number. So the decimal point would reside right there to the right of the 6. We're going to move it 7 places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Fill in with zeros. And then go ahead and add your commas. So after every three zeros, so we'll have 60 million for our number. Okay. In number three, 9.9. .9. This is a negative 5. So start with your 9.9. .9. That's telling us it's a small number. And to write a small decimal number, we have to move it to the left. 
So we'll go five places. One, two, three, four, and five. Fill in with zeros. If you want to add the zero in front of the decimal, that's okay, but there are only four zeros before the 99. Okay? So that would be our answer for number three. And finally, the 1.285 times 10 to the fourth, we want to take the decimal from the 1.285 and move it four places to the right. So we'll fill in one zero. 12,850 would be standard form. And that's how you'll write that number. Um, again, you're paying attention to whether or not it is a positive or a negative, and it'll help you decide if it's a large or a small number.